This book is called You Are Special by Max Licato. This is a great book. The Wemmicks were small broken people carved by a wood woodworker named Eli. Each Wemmick was different. Some had big noses, others had large eyes. Some were tall, others were short. But Eli had made them all. Each Wemmick had a box of golden star stickers and gray, gray dot stickers. Golden stars and gray dots. The wooden people went around the village sticking stars and dots on one another. The pretty ones got stars and Wemmicks with rough wood or chipped paint got dots. The talented ones got stars too. Some could jump over tall boxes or sing pretty songs. Others though could do could only could do little and they got dots. Punchinella was one of these. He tried to jump high like the others, but he always fell. But he always fell. So the Wemmicks would give him dots. When he tried to explain why he fell, he would say something silly, so the Wemmicks would give him more dots. Poor Punchinella. Poor Punchinella. They're sticking dots on him because they don't like him. He deserves a lot of dots, the wooden people would say. After a while, Punchinella believed them. I guess I'm not a good Wemmick, he decided. So he stayed inside most of the time. When he did go outside, he hung around with other Wemmicks who had lots of dots. He felt better around them. One day though, he met a different kind of Wemmick named Lucia. She had no dots or stars. The Wemmicks admired Lucia for having no dots. So they would give her a star, but it would fall off of her. Others gave her a dot for having no stars, but it wouldn't stay either. For some reason, nothing stuck to Lucia. That's the way I want to be, thought Punchinella. So he asked Lucia how she did it. It's easy, she said. Every day I go visit Eli, the woodworker. Why, asked Punchinella. You'll find out if you go see him. Then Lucia turned and skipped away. She was a happy Wemmick. Punchinella wondered, will he... Will he want to see me? Later at home, he sat and watched the wooden people giving each other stars and dots. It's not right, he muttered to himself, and he decided to go see Eli. Punchinella walked up the narrow path and stepped into Eli's shop. His eyes grew big. The stool was as tall as he was. He had to stretch on tiptoe to see on top of the workbench. Punchinello swallowed hard. I'm not staying here. Then he heard his name. Punchinello. The voice was the voice was deep and strong. Punchinello. How good to see you. How good to see you. Come let me have a look at you. Punchinella looked up. You know my name? Of course I made you. Eli picked him up and set him on the bench. It looks like you've been given some bad marks, said the maker. I didn't mean to, Eli. I tried really hard. Punchinello, Punchinello, I don't care what the other Wemmicks think. 
You don't? asked Punchinella. No, and you shouldn't care either. What they think doesn't matter. All that matters is what I think. And I think you are pretty special. Punchinello laughed. Me? Special? Why? I'm not very talented and my paint is peeling. Why do I matter to you? Eli spoke very slowly. Because you're mine. That's why you matter to me. Punchinello didn't know what to say. Every, every day I've been hoping that you'd come, Eli said. I came here because I met Lucia, said Punchinella. Why don't the stickers stay on her? The maker spoke softly no. because she has decided what I think is more important than what others think. The stickers only stick if you let them. What? asked Punchinella. The, the stickers only stick if they matter to you. The more you trust my love, the less you care about their stickers. I'm not sure I understand, said Punchinella. Eli smiled. You will, but it'll take time. For now, come to see me every day and let me remind you how much I care. Who does Eli remind you of? My friend. Jesus. God. Huh. Jesus. Our maker. Eli lifted Punchinella off the bench and set him on the ground. Remember, Eli said as Punchinella was leaving, you are special because I made you and I don't make mistakes. Punchinello didn't stop. But in his heart, he thought, I think he really means it. And when he did, a dot fell to the ground. The end. Love, Mimi. Yeah,